Alright guys, welcome back and we have made it to the finale of The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 8, Chapter 24. I love that helmet cam. Nice! Oh! <laughs> oh yeah! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Nice! I feel like we haven't got to see a lot of action with like just Din. He's like either with other Mandalorians or like Bo-Katan, but like just one-on-one -on -one with Din again is awesome. Cause he is really skilled. No. No. Yes! No. No. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. He nodded! Oh my god, that was adorable. The return of who? Or what? Or to where? Oh my goodness. Interceptors. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. The fighters and bombers have launched. Their capital ship will soon be destroyed. But the Mandalorian has escaped. Shall we engage? No. <laughs> I love that. He has like the horns like a mole DeLorean. You're gonna have to scout into the base and get me the location of Moth Gideon's command center. Be brave. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, oh, what a shot. Look at this, man! Aw, uh, axe! Whoo! Yeah! Whoa! Uh -oh. <laughs> nice! Oh no, not the knife! Ooh! Yes! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> yes! I, I like every trooper he kills, he gets like a new piece of equipment. Woo! Oh, that was sick! Uh, the imagery of like Din and IG-11 like side by side like season one is so awesome. That's not oh, he's cloning himself! Oh, that was creepy. Whoa! We'll be safe down here a while. We've taken refuge in these surface caves since the first. Nice. You found underground gardens. Ah. Uh. Hell yeah! Yeah! Woo! That is so freaking cool! Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god! That is awesome. My We're finally going to be perfect. <laughs> the best parts of me. But improve by adding the one thing I never had. The force. 
Grogu. Whoo! Oh, here we go! Whoa! Why does he make like droid noises? Is this like the dark trooper armor he was talking about? Oh shit! Uh! Grogu! No, no, no. <laughs> Use the force! Or don't. Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> yes! No! Yeah! Come on, Grogu! <laughs> oh. Oh. He's definitely enhanced somehow. I, I think the armor he's wearing is that like Beskar like dark trooper suit he was talking about. Oh yeah! Oh! No! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Gurgu, help me out here. Yeah! Ooh! Yes! Woo! Yeah, Grogu! Oh! Yikes! Ooh! No! No! The dark saber is gone. Shit! Mandalorians are stronger together. Let's go! Woo! Look out! Oh! Oh my God! Grogu! Yes! Woo! Okay. Oh! Yes! Oh, what a beautiful shot. Oh yeah, cause that's it. Cause he never finished his like speech. Yeah, because he was interrupted by the giant turtle gator thing. Mythosaur, where are you at? <laughs> yeah. He's so happy! You are now Din Grogu, Mandalorian apprentice. This is the way. Huh! Would it not be Grogu Jaren? Is he gonna connect with the Mythosaur right now? Ho 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 ho! Yeah! Ho 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 ho! Yeah! Woo! Where's Zeb? Where's Zeb? Ah, uh, there's Dave Filoni in the background. I see his hat. <laughs> you can't shoot 
Let me get this straight. You want to work for the new republic. Ah. Let me think about it. You already did. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna get the memory chip! You son of a bitch! Yes! Greetings, citizens. I am your new marshal. Woo! Nice. <laughs> okay. Okay, there was a lot of stuff just kind of getting thrown at us there. Before I get into it, I just want to just clarify that, yeah, John Favreau confirmed that Season 4 is already written, so we don't need to worry about that. But the Mandalorians have retaken Mandalore, led by the Armorer and Bogatan, like the Armorer kind of representing, like, the Children of the Watch and, like, the Creed, while Bogatan is, like, represents, like, the other Mandalorians, and they're just kind of living in harmony now, I guess, which, I mean... I'm not saying it's going to lead to a civil war, but it's very possible. <laughs> and poor Paz, like, he, we never even really got a chance to mourn him. And, like, like uh, Ragnard, like, we didn't, we never got a scene of, like, Ragnar re like, realizing that, like, his father's dead or anything. It's like, man, come on, show some respect. I also don't think that Moff Gideon is dead. We didn't see a body, he's not dead. That's the rule. And, like... With like his that in that armor, whatever, I feel like he could have survived like the the fire. Like I I feel like he could have survived that or just like flown away or something. Like I don't think they'd kill him off like just like that. I mean that that felt way too abrupt to be like his definitive ending. And like John Carlos Esposito is just so fantastic in the role. It's just I would hate to see him leave. It was just it was kind of abrupt, honestly. But like the dark saber was destroyed. Like, that, that, that's pretty big. Like, the, the Darksaber's been destroyed. Which, I mean, honestly, is probably a good thing for the Mandalorians. Because now that it's been destroyed, we don't have to have this whole, like, leadership problem with winning it in combat and all the rules that come with it and all that. It's like, it's probably a good thing for the Mandalorians that it's been destroyed. But at the same time, man, I love the Darksaber, though. It looks, it's so cool. IG-11 is back. Let's go. I love that that has a payoff. But something that didn't have a payoff, really, was the freaking Mythosaur. Like, it really, it didn't really do anything. It had, it had no impact on anything. It was just there. It was just chilling at the bottom of the living waters. It didn't really, like, the Mythosaur, like, man, that needed a pay, that needed a payoff, and it, there wasn't a payoff. I guess it could set up for future things with it in season four. Now that we it we know that it's there, it is just chilling on Mandalore. It could come into play at some point, but I feel like we just we needed we needed something in this season. And it's interesting that like I yeah I understand like Din not wanting to be a bounty hunter anymore with like him adopting Grogu and all that, but he's gonna work for the New Republic. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't really know how that's gonna work. He, he's gonna take certain, base, basically, what Cara Doom was gonna do before the whole Gina Carano thing. But like, he's basically gonna just work for, the, like, just go on missions for the New Republic, apparently. Which I guess then makes it way more possible that he could show up in Ahsoka. But like, there's already so much going on with Ahsoka. I don't know that we need Mando in there. Din Grogu apparently is his new name. Which I feel like, wouldn't he take Mando's last name, though? Like, wouldn't, because Grogu's his name. So would it, wouldn't it be Grogu Jaren? I feel like that would make more sense, but anyway. And I can't wait to see, like, as Grogu gets older, and, like, eventually if he does speak, which it's going to be very interesting if, if and when he ever does speak, is he going to, is he going to talk like Yoda, or is he going to talk like Yaddle? Like, because Yaddle talks normally, but Yoda talks like Yoda, so I don't know. Again... Not really sure what the title's referring to. Like, the return of what? Or who? Or to where? Like, the return to Mandalore? Because, I mean, that was episode two, where we returned to Mandalore. So, the return of IG-11? Is, is that what we're talking about? Like, uh, I'm not really sure what they're referring to there. Kind of like the last episode. 
the spies. Who are the spies? We never found out. Like, who are the spies? Like, I don't know. So, this season as a whole is very mixed because it has some really good stuff. Like, I think episode two, Return to Mandalore, is really good. And uh, these last two episodes are also really good, and like there's kind of, there's good elements sprinkled in throughout the other episodes, like the like the Order sixty six flashback with uh, Keller and Beck played by Ahmed Best saving Grogu. That's that's all really good. But then there's like the other stuff, like and like there's the stuff with like epi like episode one and five with like the pirates, which I still enjoyed, but didn't really ha didn't really have a whole lot to offer in terms of story. And then there's like episode three and six which are like the two oddballs that like just don't belong in this season really because we had episode three which was like a whole whole hour of Pershing and Elia Kane which basically served as exposition to like explain the like New Republic and the amnesty program and all that so it, that because that that's kind of a theme throughout the rest of the season. Because then we have like Jack Black in episode six, where he has like the patch, like he was a former Imperial. Which speaking of episode six, I know a lot of people like love it or hate it. It's very very divisive. I enjoyed it, but it didn't really belong in this season, and like that late in the season. The biggest problem with this season is that it lacked focus, in my opinion. Because like the plot was never really focused until episode 5, which is over halfway through the season. It is too late to be like finally like getting where we're going with Bo like reuniting the Mandalorians and going back to Mandalore. And then the episode immediately after that is just a side quest about battle droids and like like I it was a fun episode in my opinion. It just it was out of place. Yeah, this season was just way too unfocused because we start the season with the weakest premiere of any of the seasons, but was still was still fine. And then we get we get like we see like Grief Karga on Navarro and then like we get reintroduced to Bo Gatan in her castle or whatever. And then and then it continues from there, like Din goes to Mandalore and like finds the living waters and all that. And then we see the Mythosaur, which was huge, but then we immediately get sidetracked by um, Dr. Pershing and Elia Kane on Coruscant and the New Republic, but then we, we abruptly cut back where they're just, they, where Bo and Din go back to the Mandalorians on their, like, hideout or whatever, and then we just hang out there for an episode and save a kid from a giant bird while Grogu has flashbacks about Order 66, which, again, was really awesome. Then episode 5, we get more of the New Republic, Zeb shows up in Karsid Teva, makes the Mandalorians go on another side quest, to help out Grief Karga with some pirates and Green Davy Jones. And then we finally figure out where this is going with bo reuniting the Mandalorians and going back to Mandalore, but then we get sidetracked again on Plazir 15 to take out some battle droids for the Dutch and Duchess of this planet with this whole conspiracy with Christopher Lloyd that was just <laughs> really out of place. But then we, but then we like, reunite with the other Mandalorians. Bo gets the Darksaber through some cheap loophole. And then, we finally get back to Mandalore, Moff Gideon's back, and, it, and it's a pretty strong conclusion after that. It's just, this season was just all over the place, though. Like, the last two seasons had a clear through line and a clear goal and plot. Like, season one, Din's protecting Grogu. That's really all there is to it. And then season two, it's to reunite Grogu with his kind, the Jedi. And it happens. He reunites with Luke Skywalker. But then, Book of Boba Fett happens, which I think is a big factor in this season being way weaker than the others. Because Book of Boba Fett was not that great of a show to begin with, but then we throw in two Mandalorian episodes in like the latter half of that season, which those two episodes are fantastic by the way, but it shouldn't have been in a Boba Fett show. Like the the cliffhanger of season two with Grogu getting getting taken by Luke Skywalker and separated from Din, and then they just reunite in the finale of another show. It's like, why did we do that? 
Why was episode 5 of Book of Boba Fett, Return of the Mandalorian, why was that not the season 3 premiere? If that was the season 3 premiere, everyone would have lost their shit. Like, it would have, it would have been amazing. Then episode 2 could be Grogu training with Luke and then him having to make the decision, like go to, go back with Mando or be a Jedi. Like get two full episodes of them apart and then maybe like episode like 3 or 4 have them reunite for the rest of the season would have been much better. And if you have those as the first two episodes, you could keep six other episodes, remove episode 3 and 6 and boom. Like, and you could have, like, because, like, episode 6 had, like, it was important that we had that end scene with Bo getting the Darksaber. Just stick that on at the beginning of, like, episode 7, and it would have been fine. Like, remove those two episodes, put the two Book of Boba Fett episodes at the uh, beginning of the season, and it would have been much better. Overall, it was still an enjoyable season, like, having watched Book of Boba Fett. Like, if you hadn't watched Book of Boba Fett... This season would make no sense to you, but like I watched Boba Boba Fett, so I understood what was happening, and it was still enjoyable, just much weaker than the last two seasons. And season four is already written, according to Jon Favreau, and it was confirmed at Star Wars Celebration that Dave Filoni is getting his own movie, which that in itself is awesome, but it's going to be wrapping up the whole Mandoverse, which that is still years away, because I don't know how many more seasons of The Mandalorian we have before that happens. But season four is already written, and we have Ahsoka coming out later this year, which the trailer for Ahsoka looked freaking fantastic with, like, basically the sequel, like, the live-action sequel to Rebels, which we got Zeb in this season of The Mandalorian, which he wasn't featured in the trailer, but I'm sure he'll be in that series. And I know a season two of Book of Boba Fett has been out there, never confirmed, but it is a possibility. And then we can have all the Mandalorians, plus Boba Fett and his biker gang from Tatooine, and like Ahsoka and the whole ghost crew from Rebels come together to fight Thrawn in a movie. Like how awesome would that be? But I think that's going to do it for my reaction to the Mandalorian Season 3 Finale, Chapter 24, The Return. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.